Melvin Thomas Jr. was a mentor and youth basketball coach. His murder last month shocked the community. He was shot on the front steps of a building in North Toledo. And tonight, for the first time, his family is sharing their story. Kaylee Kirby joins us live. And Kaylee, I just know being in the community, he has touched so many children's lives, leaving behind such a legacy. Yeah, he definitely right did, Melissa. Melvin Thomas Jr. was only 27 years old. Many people know him in the basketball world for the work he did to help the area youth keep their head in the game and stay out of trouble. Even though he's physically gone, his mom and sister say his spirit is always around. One month and three days. So I just have to take it moment by moment. 41 days. I just hear him in my head. 59,040 minutes. He hasn't left me. That's how long it's been since Juanita Thomas lost her son and Danielle Thomas lost her younger brother, Melvin Thomas Jr. Our faith in God and prayer is what is getting me through. Not only did she lose her son, her husband died in 2020. She says it's been hard. Love you. Love you. They say he was determined, passionate, had a zeal for life and children, loved basketball, and was an awesome addition to the Thomas family. Uh, Melvin was the first Mother Day baby at Toledo Hospital. And I can remember my daughter saying that she was going to call him Knucklehead. And so just, you know, those are the memories that we have with him. But they say it's hard to talk about Melvin Jr. without talking about his dad. He didn't just have his name. They had the same tenacity. They had the same charm. They had the same smile. And they could hug you in a way that would stop you in your tracks and just make whatever was wrong okay. For his sister, Melvin is a physical representation of love. My best friend. My. He was love. He is love. It's hard for me to talk about them in the past tense because mm -hmm. what they left is very much so still alive for me. And that life comes in many forms. His work in the community, his passion for making the world a better place, and basketball. His mom says he was practically playing ball before he was walking. I've never known him not to be just really um, happy when he was playing ball, happy when he and his dad would have conversations about ball. Um, and so I don't remember a time where he didn't like basketball. His love for basketball translated to his program Focused, where he would train young athletes to be leaders on the court and off the court. Um, nowhere in Focus is there a basketball. So it was about education, effort, and execution. I'm not a ball player. I can't teach a Euro step. I can't do any of those things, but his legacy will go on. His sister says he may be gone, but there are reminders of him all around. The biggest one in the kids he mentored. My brother did not leave me, nieces or nephews. So he left me though with a whole slew of kids to love one. And they say that alone is what keeps them going. I can have this much love in my heart still because it wouldn't hurt so bad if it didn't feel so good. And what keeps Melvin Thomas Jr.'s legacy alive. I'm just a proud big sister. Just a proud big sister. Now, Melvin's mom and sister have taken over focus. They will continue his basketball camps. This year's camp will be held in Melvin's honor on December 29th at Toledo Christian. We will have more information on that to come. Reporting in studio tonight, Kaylee Kirby, WTOL 11.